This video is brought to you by Squarespace, and this is a disaster. Can you tell why? When I saw it, I knew something wasn't quite right. What seems out of the ordinary to you? Well, how about this egg? It's slightly bigger than the other two which means some very bad things are about to happen. Let's check in on the progress. Some chicks have hatched, but how many? I see only two. Yesterday, there were three eggs. Well, what happened? Let's watch. The larger chick pushed its sibling out of the nest. Why would it do that? The chick is a lot bigger now, and the mother is here to feed it. Let's watch for a sec. Oh, did you see that? The chick pooped, and the mother took it away. Surprisingly, this is common. Many baby birds poop in small membranous pouches called fecal sacs. They're like disposable diapers that the adult bird will carry elsewhere to keep the nest clean. But there's still something going on here that's not quite right. Why is this chick's head already larger than its mother's? How can a chick be so much bigger than its parent. Now, this chick is massive. And take a look underneath it. It's completely outgrown its nest. Hmm. So we have a big bird that evicts its siblings, born from an unusually large egg. What's going on? When I'm looking for answers, I like to start with an ID. So let's figure out what animals we're working with. We'll begin with the mother. We have olive green upper parts, lighter underneath, and if you look very closely, a faint cream colored stripe on the face. This is a reed warbler. Now just to double check that chick, dark back, striped belly, this is, <gasps> oh my, an entirely different bird. Well, how can that be? Well, it all started just a few weeks ago, back at the nest. When the reed warbler was away gathering food, a different bird snuck in to lay this egg and trick the warbler into taking care of it. Days later, when the egg hatched, this chick, offspring of our mystery bird, began its own scheme to terminate its nestmate, because if it doesn't have siblings, it gets all the food. And the whole time the warbler was left, none the wiser, simply a pawn in the master plan of the deceptive, the conniving, the common cuckoo. Cuckoos survive by tricking other birds into taking care of their own chicks. And that's not all. I have some exciting news. I recorded some new behind the scenes tours of a few hyper exclusive museum collections. You won't believe the stuff I found in there. I'll share some of the highlights right now. But to see the whole tour with commentary, become a channel member by clicking the join button under this video. Also, squarespace.com is a great place to create a website, which sounds very daunting, but they have these professional templates that make starting out very simple. And customizing those templates is extremely straightforward. So if you're thinking about creating a website, 
Go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash odd animal specimens for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain.